So this is where I'm going to be starting looking at the financials. And what you can see is if you look in the top right hand corner, you're going to see an area for IBM. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click within that IBM area and it's going to allow me to work with some of the information that's here. So I'm going to connect to the solution. And once I've connected to the solution, it's going to ask me, well, what do you want to connect to? So I'm going to go ahead and connect over here. Click on here into Cognos. And what's going to have, the first thing that's going to come up for me is it's going to ask me for permission. What can I do? So again, this is controlled in terms of who can do what. Not everyone is going to um, be given access to the environment. So again, you can control uh, exactly who can have access to the system uh, from a financials perspective. Once you have access to the environment, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a specific package that's related to the GL income statement, which is where I'm going to start. And I'm just going to click on OK. Now, what you're going to notice on the left-hand side, you're going to see a bunch of information that's available in terms of what you can look at. So I can see, for example, I have information as it relates to GL periods, and I've got my different GL periods here. I can open up, for example, 2019, and I can see I've got my four quarters, and then I've also got right down to my individual periods. I've got my chart of accounts available to me. I can see things with regards to my net income. That I'm working on and I can see that things are organized in a hierarchy that's set up and then I've also got my versions so if I'm looking at actual and budget so I have that available as well as finally my different measures that are available for me to look at from debits to credits to balances and so forth so I've got all that information available to me the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start creating an exploration so I'm going to click on exploration and it's going to create somewhat of a cross tab for me to be able to work with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some of that information in. Now what I've done in advance is I've created a set that organizes the income statement in the format that I want. So I could see my revenue, my cost of goods sold, uh, my gross profit and so forth in an organized fashion. So I'm just going to take that one that I've pre-created and all I've got to do is basically just take it and just drag it right into the rows. I bring that right into the rows and the information is going to show up for the area that I want. Again, it's just organized in a fashion the way I want to see it. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take something like the period. So I want to see this for period one of 2019. I'm going to take that again. I'm just going to drag that into the columns and just drag and drop it right here. Once I have the information dragged onto the columns, I'm going to be able to pick and choose the measures that I want to be able to see. So again, I'm just going to scroll down to where all my measures are, and I'm going to take my balance amount, and my balance amount is just going to go right over here in regards to my measures. Now, right away, I can see a P&L for period one that's showing me my information. Now, I want to have the ability to do a little bit more, not just be able to show this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to modify things so that I'm able to see more than one period. So I'm going to go to where my GL periods are, and I'm just going to do what's called an edit of the set. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for additional periods of information. So I'm going to say I'd like to be able to include period two and period three, add that over, but also give myself a summary for Q1 of 2019. And from 2018, I'd like to be able to see the comparative of 2018 Q1 as well by just adding that into, um, into the solution. So again, all you need to do is just select the one that you want. And again, just click on the little arrow and it'll come across. Once you've done that, all you need to do is just click on OK. And then what'll happen is the information will get refreshed on your screen for the different periods as well as the quarterlies. Now that I have that there, I also want to include some information as it relates to actual and budget. So I've got my actual and I've got my budget. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to nest that information right next to the GL periods. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop that right here. And you can see right now I've got actual 
versus budget by period. And I have the ability right now, if I'm looking at revenue, I have the ability by just putting my mouse over. And once I put my mouse over that area, there's going to be the ability for me to be able to do um, what's called the drill down. So I could just double click on the revenue and I can see that I've got the next level that's showing up in my hierarchy. And I could drill down again on my revenue to the next level and finally go right down to the individual GL account. So that's one of the things that I can do from an income statement perspective in being able to play with it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce how we do a similar type thing for the balance sheet. So I'm going to go ahead right now and switch things over to the next sheet. And what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to create a new exploration by just clicking on exploration up here in the top. And what will happen is it's going to create myself a new rows and columns that are available for me to work with. This time I'm going to now switch myself over and again connect. But this time, instead of working with the package that I've created for income statement, I'm going to choose the one for balance sheet. I'm going to click on OK. And now I've got my balance sheet information available. Inside of my chart of accounts, I've got something with regards to profit. So I can take that and I can bring that right over to my rows. And you're going to see now, I'm going to have my assets, my equity, and my liabilities, as well as a subtotal for my profit. I'm then going to go ahead and go into my GL periods like I did before. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my periods, which is an as at for period one of 2019. And again, it's just a matter of taking the period that you want and a matter of just dragging it over to the columns. And again, you're going to be able to see that information. Now, from a measures perspective, I'm going to go into my GL measures. And I have all my different measures here. And this time, instead of just balance amount, or instead of just balance, I want to start with my opening. I want my balance, but then I want my closing. So the order in which I select them, that's the order in which they're going to show up. Again, I'm just going to take that information, and I'm just going to actually just nest it right next to GL periods. So now I can see what I'm looking at from a balance sheet perspective as at period one. Now, you might say, I want to be able to see more than one period. I can do it the exact same way as I was doing it before. All I have to do, again, is move myself over to the GL periods. And from within the GL periods, I'm going to be able to edit that set and say, go into GL periods, pick my 2019-01. Instead, this time I also want 02. I just add that across. I click on OK and I'm going to see period one and period two as at for opening and closing, as well as the period amount that was showing up in there. I now also have the ability, just like I was showing from the P&L perspective, I also have the ability to go into, for example, in assets and being able to drill down right down to the actual GL account. So again, some of the information that's in here is going to allow you to leverage yourself being able to create things like cash flow statements and stuff like that where you can pull information from your income statement as well as from your, um, from your balance sheet. 